It's even in the dietary guidelines for Americans issued by the federal government that you're supposed to floss to right. help prevent uh, plaque buildup and gum disease. And then when the Associated Press said, asked them for the scientific evidence behind it, there was... He even filed a Freedom of Information Act request for information because he wasn't getting anything. And then six months later, in January of this year, they very quietly just removed the recommendation. (sighs) And when he spoke to them, they said, you know, we looked and we realized we couldn't find any really credible, strong studies supporting the use of floss. And so they took it off the recommendation. That doesn't mean it doesn't. It's not good for you. It's just that there are no studies that have been... Right. They've done a lot of studies on flossing, but they were all... A lot of them are just very bad studies. They've got a a small sample size. Maybe they're only looking at 25 people, or other ones looked at at only a very short period of time, say two weeks. And then still other ones weren't actually looking at the stuff we want to know about preventing cavities and preventing gum disease. Instead, they looked at something like bacteria. Uh, But when you take that floss out, you see all this gook on it, don't you? Right. It seems like it should be something that's true, but... It's flossiness. It's flossiness. <laughs> <laughs> How did it get started? Did somebody just make it up someday? Or? Well, I mean, it kind of got started... Well, back in the day when floss was first yeah. invented, that was, you know, over 100 years ago, and then companies started patenting it, and companies that made floss were doing their own studies. But, again, a lot of these mm. were just... There wasn't a really strong basis of fact behind it. And so when it turns out that when they were formulating these dietary guidelines, they they just didn't have really good science. And even dentists associations that that say this is a recommendation from, uh, you know, the American Dental Association, they cited studies that were very weak. 